So in terms of meditation center recommendation, one of my favorite meditation center is Tushita Meditation Center in Dharamkot, Dharamshala. Now, Tushita Meditation Center is a part of Tibetan Mahayana traditions and they run these 9 to 10 days introduction to Buddhism course. And it, it was also like my first meditation retreat or first meditation course that I did almost 10 years back. And uh, in terms of the course, Tibetan Buddhism is like a very rich, I mean, Tibetan society is very rich in terms of spiritual practices. It's like a core part of their system, right? And it is almost, I mean, it is like a really good introduction to their practices, their understanding and how they teach spirituality and meditation in their system. Right. So what they do is basically in the 10 day course, uh, again, it's like a silent meditation retreat. You are expected to be silent. You are expected to stay inside the meditation center for 10 days. And you don't have your, I mean, they also take your mobile and digital devices. So you're not distracted. And this meditation is generally led by a very experienced meditation teacher, right? Generally a geshe. And these teachers are generally having almost like 10 years of education before they become like a meditation teacher in their system, right? So very experienced teacher, right? So generally there's a meditation, experienced meditation teacher and they keep changing, right? So it's like one person might have a different experience compared to another person because it was led by a different teacher, right? So it's not as standardized. What they teach is pretty much same, but because the teacher has a different interpretation, it may be different for different people, right? So there is a meditation teacher who is very experienced and he generally discuss the core Buddhist teaching like Four Noble Truth, Eightfold Path, Three Poison, Three Jewels, like a very core fundamental teachings in the Buddhist, right? The key insights in the Buddhism. And then there is also a meditation lead and generally they do around three hours of meditation per day and then there is i think three four hours of teaching one hour of kind of a group discussion it's a very relaxed uh, it's not as hardcore as vipassana it's very relaxed gentle introduction to meditation right and they do a variety of meditations so in tibetan buddhism they do a lot of samatha practices but they also have a lot of really good guided meditations and they focused on so they try to iterate through guided meditation so that it goes a little bit more deeper the nature of reality right the nature of non-self and all these things they do it again and again and again through guided meditation so it goes more deeper inside our, our mind right also they have really good compassion meditation practices right and so it's like really nice introduction to variety of practices they do right there's also some vajrayana tantra and these kind of things but then again, right? So they have like a very balanced teaching sessions and then some meditations and then some group settings and group discussions and uh, a really interesting crowd because it's very international people that end up in your course. So people have variety of point of views or, you know, upbringing and they, their questions are very different. So it's very lively and enjoyable experience, very relaxed, lively and enjoyable experience, right? And you get to know a lot about Tibetan Buddhism. As a, if you are starting the meditation practice, right, it's probably a good idea to experience a different tradition. So you are more clear about like, you know, who is doing what and what is the core teachings among all the different traditions, right? And then maybe for some people, something strikes and maybe for some other people, something else might strike, right? So it's always a good idea, in my opinion, to understand and, you know, attend different traditions courses, especially in the beginning. So yeah, very well structured, very relaxed, very gentle introduction to meditation and Buddhist teaching. And another really good thing about Tibetan Buddhism that I found, I have a lot of respect for Tibetan Buddhism. So one of the really good thing I found is because their society is so much built into the, where the core part of the society is spirituality, right? So there's a lot of really good teachers who has practiced meditation for their entire life and they also have 
very strong emphasis on like a teacher student kind of system so you have access to generally a really vast variety of uh, not variety like vast amount of teachers who has done a lot of meditation practice and you know you can have a question answer with them or you can attend their teaching they are teaching all the times right in a different meditation center toshita is one deer park is another one which is nearby and they are always doing some three day courses or something where you can have like a one on one discussion or you know you can have some uh, questions in a group format way but it is always really nice to see somebody who has practiced for very long time as their like primary goal in the life and what kind of effect it had on them right and this is why i have become so interested in the beginning because there was a teacher tangent palmo just so much tangent palmo she was so amazing i mean i was attending her teachings for two or three days and you can see how i mean you see the quality of person right and then that inspires you right even more so that is really nice that you have access to real teacher who has done meditation as their primary thing for entire life right yeah so i would i would highly recommend that if you are exploring the meditation go at least consider attending a 9 or 10 day introduction to buddhism course in tushita meditation center in terms of fees they expect a minimum donation at least at the time almost 10 years back they were expecting 6000 or something 6000 rupees or something 7000 rupees which would be something like um, 70 80 like almost 100 dollar or something which is very very reasonable right i mean in order to run a meditation center you need to i mean you need to buy the food and there's like real expenses to run it and this is like very reasonable at least at that time this was like a very reasonable expectation to ask for right but it is i mean you have to probably check like what is the minimum donation is required and there's always also like different kind of accommodation so there's like a big dormitory there's a small dormitory and you know based on that you might be you might have might have to pay a little bit more or less yeah but that's that's pretty much it right that's pretty much it it's really nice introduction to kind of a tibetan system of meditation and buddhist teaching 